Hey everybody, I've been meaning to record this video for like over a year uh, and it just, well, <laughs> you know, doo-doo happens, life happens, and I haven't gotten around to doing it. One of the things that I find particularly difficult about recording videos is if there's any time between, like if there, if I take a month and I don't record anything, then at the end of that month, when I try to record something again, I have to remember what I did. I have to find, I have to update everything. I have to make sure everything is charged. Like there's all these steps that have to happen that are kind of a barrier to um, continuing to record videos. So I recorded a video today about communication pathways for my students. And I just realized like, dude, I rallied to figure out everything, like to get it all working. I might as well just do this one, which um, my YouTube homies have requested. And so let's do it. I'm gonna explain to you how I record my videos. And um, before I start doing that, I just wanna say there are a couple things that I think are really important for me. And I think everybody has to find their own um, strategy for video recording. Number one, I think having it be easy is really important because like I just said, there's kind of a learning curve or a tech hill and activation energy that I have to overcome before I can actually um, get started recording the videos. Um, but as far as the actual video itself goes, for me, I want my face in the thing. And it's because there's something that happens with, there's, there's more to what I'm saying than the words I'm saying. This is actually a really big part of what comes across to students and this. And it makes, for me, it makes um, my videos more personal to my students. My students feel like they know me because they can see my face and I really am talking to them. The other thing that's important to me is I wanna have an a outline of all the topics that are gonna be covered in the lecture. And I want that outline there so that they can track where they are in the big picture. And it also lets them track, like if they wanna go back to see something else, um, they, they can do that. So this part of my little setup here is super important to me. And then, I don't know, like, those of you who know me or who have watched my giddy up for a while, um, I love color. And to actually write the notes and draw pictures um, and color code things, that's a really important part of my teaching. When I taught in face-to-face -face buildings and not through technology and videos, I would have like every color known to humankind of whiteboard marker because I wanted to have as many options as are possible. So my little whiteboard setup here is super important to me too. So I've divided my tools into two types. I've got software that I use, and then I've got like, I don't know, hardware, I guess, but like tools, equipment that I also use. So I um, am going to make a list of those things for you, but I have to find my list so I can remember, I can remember what it is. Okay, so let's do um, software. Oops, we can't do that, can we? You can't read that. Software and, I don't know, I call them tools. Let's start with the most important software, which is the actual um, recording tool that I'm using right now, and that's OBS. OBS is a free video recording tool. I actually think it's like a streaming tool. And it's true, it's free. And it does way more than I come anywhere close to doing. I do not understand this thing. In fact, I build the, I spend time and it takes a lot of time to figure out how to do what I want it to do. And then I never touch it. And I just pray that it doesn't ever break because 
then I will get to keep using this. And I use the same system now every single time. So I only have to learn my system. I don't have to rebuild this, this setup. Um, I use a thing called Let's View. And this is a software that I'm using to mirror my iPad because this whiteboard is actually my iPad. So maybe I should go like that. iPad and pencil. I've tried the Wacom tablet. I've tried an X pen tablet. I've tried all sorts of tablet things and I don't like how they look. They're hard for me. Dude, the iPad and the pencil is like pure gold. And the app that I use on my iPad is called Good Notes. So that's also for the iPad. And that lets me draw pictures. Now, I also can put images into Good Notes, and I do. I'll like take, you know, I could take like a PowerPoint um, file and have my images like slides that I want to share with my students. And then I turn those into a PDF and import them into Good Notes. And then I can draw all over the image and it is captured because of Let's View. It's captured here in, um, in the, whatever, my little whiteboard scene here. The fact is, I couldn't tell you how I got this to work. My little, um, that thing, my, my, that usually has the outline when I do a video lecture. That's an image that I created in um, Adobe Illustrator. So I use Adobe Illustrator to make this little image. I color code the menus for physio anatomy and general biology. So, and then they have the um, outline on there. And I figured out how to make a little highlight button in um, OBS. And I move that button with every video clip I make. Oh my gosh, I feel like there's no way that anybody could actually um, do this based on this video. But I think it is fair to just tell you like what I'm doing. I also have a um, this thing is like a, I don't know, what is that? I don't know what that is, but I put my iPad on it when I'm recording a video so that I'm not looking down like this. I am able to like write right here and keep eye contact, better eye contact. It's one of the really important things about my videos is that I maintain eye contact with my webcam. It's much easier to, um, like, look at the iPad. It's easier to look at my face here and see what I'm seeing on the screen, but it makes a huge difference to actually look into the eyes of my students as they are watching me so that they know I'm talking to them because I really am in my head. I really am talking to them. Um, so the iPad holder thing, I don't know what that is. iPad holder thing. I got it on Amazon. It's like a iPad holder thing. I use a webcam, a Logitech webcam. And dude, I don't know what kind it is. And I don't know if it's good or bad. Like, I don't know. I have a ring light. I turn that thing on and that's super easy too. And that definitely makes a difference in like perceived quality of the lighting, but what, <laughs> I mean, who knows? I use a blue Yeti microphone. Microphone, that says microphone. It does. And I've got my iPad with the pencil. Okay, those are all, those, that's it. Those are all the things that I use to record my videos. OBS lets me hit record. And then I stop recording and it creates this little video file. I then upload that video file to YouTube and I'm done. That's that's all there is to it. Um, obviously, the prep for building the notes. I'll show you some notes. This is what I did today for my um, pathways thing. 
I did it inside of like notes that I was taking for a different class. So you can see I can put pictures in here and I can scan along. I can add other empty pages. I can just, it's like a slideshow, which is super handy for me. If I think of something, I can off the cuff make something happen. Um, what else do you need to know? What you need to know is that OBS is really cool and I don't know how to make it do what I have it doing, um, but it's nice. And now you know what I do and why every time I stop, I go, oh my God, what did I do? How did I get that? I recorded a video this morning using the, what is that iPad, the let's view iPad thing. And um, tonight I came in, I couldn't find it on my computer. I couldn't even remember what its name was. I was going to make this video for y'all and I couldn't find that tool. So you can imagine <laughs> like every time I record videos, it's just, oh my goodness, it's an adventure and I have to rally and, but they're helpful to humans out there. And so now you know how I do it. And thanks for asking. And nine.